Tonight, this man is behind bars accused of murdering Scott Brooks. A lot of people are saying today's arrest is a real turning point. Now they say they feel some sense of relief since Scott Brooks accused killer is now off the street. Our Glenn Counts talked to business owners in the area who say they are glad the police did not stop until they found a suspect. Glenn. Well, Eric, I can tell you that the uh, business owners in this community took the murder of Scott Brooks personally. They made them think about their own safety and security. And tonight, we can tell you they are grateful. You can feel the relief in the no dog business community. I've been in business 15 years, and I work with uh, fair trade uh, artists across the globe. Teresa Hernandez owns Perta Vida Worldly Art. The murder of Scott Brooks made her afraid to come to her shop. That's changed now. What makes me feel good about the arrest is that it shows me that the police didn't give up. Police arrested 33-year-old Terry Connor Jr. and charged the ex-con with Brooks's murder. The community rallied around the family and brewers got together and came up with a too blessed to be stressed brew to honor Scott. I just want to know why, but at the end of the day, you know, we forgive. And this afternoon, family members came to Nodar Brewing to share a glass, and for the first time in months, Scott's twin brother David came to us. Actually, it's fun. I'm starting to have a little bit of fun now, and it's just, just wonderful. It's just people around you, and my family supporting me. It's just been absolutely overwhelming. Well, police are not done. They do believe that two men are responsible and they've only caught one. And so tonight they are looking for that second suspect. And of course, they have proven that they will not give up. Back to you guys. Glenn, maybe more tips will come in now to help find the second suspect. Thank you for that update tonight. Tonight, multiple sources are telling Channel 9 that Terry Connor and Everett Connor are related and that both are charged with murder. Terry was just charged today, as we told you, for the murder of Scott Brooks, while Everett was charged with murder in late January. Police said that Everett killed a man and a woman who were found shot to death inside an SUV. The SUV was found down an embankment along Atondo Avenue in North Charlotte.